Hey team, welcome back to another WordPress tutorial for beginners. I hope everyone is doing well. Now today I'm excited to share with you how you can create a pop-up form in WordPress for free with a popular and easy to use plugin called Pop-Up Maker. Okay guys, now just quickly before I show you exactly how to do this, consider subscribing if it's your first time here and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and create a simple pop-up form for your WordPress website. Okay, so to create a free pop-up form for your WordPress website, the first thing we need to do is log into our WordPress dashboard. Once you have arrived at your WordPress dashboard, simply navigate over to Plugin. Now today, what we're going to do is install a plugin called Pop-up Maker to create a free pop-up form. Then simply navigate up to Add New next to Plugin. And here, all we need to do is navigate over to the search bar on the right hand side and type in Pop-Up Maker. Then simply locate Pop-Up Maker. You can see that the Pop-Up Maker plugin is designed and developed by Pop-Up Maker. Down here, you can see that there are over 600,000 active installations and you can see that the last update was four weeks ago. This is the plugin that we want to install. You can see that they have high ratings and then what we wanna do is head up to install now. Now it's important to note that before you install any plugins, it's a good idea to back up your website just in case the plugin doesn't work with your theme or it doesn't work with other plugins on your website and it ends up crashing your website. So it is best practice to back up your website before you go ahead and install any plugins. So we've already done that. So what we're gonna do is click install now. Then once you've installed the pop-up maker, simply click activate. And just like that, you've installed the pop-up maker plugin onto your WordPress website. Now just simply navigate over to pop-up maker on the left-hand side, and then just simply scroll down past all these notifications and you'll find pop-ups. Now you can see down here that we currently have zero pop-up forms. So what we wanna do is create a new pop-up. To do that, simply select create new pop-up. And this is where we can go ahead and create a fresh new pop-up form completely for free. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is create a opt-in form. So our pop-up form, the intention of this pop-up form is to collect emails from potential subscribers to our email list. So you can go ahead and create any kind of pop-up form that you like, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll just create an opt-in form as this is a popular type of pop-up form. So what we're going to do is navigate up to pop up name and here we're just going to add the name of our form type. For us that is opt-in form and this name does not show on your form. This is just for your own reference when you create multiple forms. Then down here you can give your form a title and this title will appear on your form. For us we're actually going to add subscribe join us. And remember, this is optional. You can leave this blank if you like. I would recommend you test your form with a title or without a title and see what works for you. Remember, you can change this at any time. Then down here, we have the content. This is creating our form. Now, what we wanna do is navigate up to this pop-up maker short codes and click here and then come down to subscription form. And then under form subscription, what we wanna do is navigate down to form. Under form, this is where we can edit the field. So name field type. Here, what we wanna do is leave it as full, but what you can do is select any of these options. We want full name. Then down here, we can have name optional, makes the name field optional. So we're gonna leave that as it is, and then navigate over to labels. Under field label text, we can come down and edit any of these options, but I'm happy with name, email, and subscribe. You can change those if you like. If you want your say, for example, your submit button to not say subscribe, maybe it could say join us, get started today, you can add anything that you like. Then under placeholders, we can change what appears under full name, name and email. Again, I'm happy with the default details here. And then we have appearance over on the right hand side. And again, I'm happy with this default layout. I want my layout to be block centered and form style again default. 
So I'm happy with that. Then navigate over to privacy. This is privacy information that you can choose to enable or disable. What I'm gonna do is leave this enabled and I'm happy with all this information down here. Again, you can come back to this and change any of these privacy details if you like, but what I'm gonna do is navigate up to actions and under actions, I can navigate up to pop-up and I can select close or open pop-up. If I select one of these options, I can set a delay for when the pop-up closes. I'm happy to leave that off and then I'm gonna navigate over to redirect. Redirect, I can choose to redirect this pop-up to another internal page. Once the user has submitted their information into this pop-up form, again, I'm gonna leave that blank as I just want the form to close. Then when you're happy with your information, navigate down to save. And just like that, give it a moment and your pop-up form will be created. Now, what you can do is also add media to your form. If you like, you can also add text and you have formatting options available up here. But I'm gonna leave this form as a basic form. So again, if you like, you can add other elements to this form. Then once you've created your form, come down here to pop-up settings. Here under triggers, what we wanna do is create a trigger for when the pop-up is to open. Simply navigate over to add new trigger and then navigate up to click open and then come down to time delay. Then down here, stop showing pop-up once visitor takes this action on pop-up close. I'm happy with that, then come down and click add. Here we want to add the time delay. So for us, what we're gonna do is move this all the way over to five seconds. So basically after five seconds of a visitor landing on our homepage, so we're gonna select homepage, this form will open, this pop-up will activate. And then simply come down and click add. And then come down to on pop-up close. What we wanna do is change one month to one day. Simply navigate over to this pencil icon, then just navigate up to cookie name. Here you can rename your cookie, cookie time. For us, we're gonna go one day. And what this means is if a visitor does not submit this form and they click exit, then this form will reappear one day later. If they decide to navigate back to our website, this form will appear again. However, this is completely up to you. I'm happy with one day. Then come down and click update. Then under triggers, we have targeting. If you select targeting, we can choose a condition for our pop-up form to appear. So for us, what we're gonna do is select homepage. When a visitor lands on our homepage and after five seconds, this pop-up form will appear. And then below this, we have the option to add an additional condition, but I'm happy with the homepage being the trigger to this pop-up form. Then lastly, we have the option to disable the pop-up form on mobile devices or on tablets. I'm happy with keeping my pop-up form enabled on both devices. Then head up to display under targeting. Here we can select display presents. Down here, I want my form to appear in the center of the screen. So simply click where you want your form to appear. Then navigate over to appearance. Here we can come down and select a theme. For us, we're gonna come down and select cutting edge. And again, take the time to go through each of these themes and test each one on your website to see which pop-up looks best based on your website colors, your themes. So you can come back here at any time to select a different theme if you like. You can also customize your themes by simply navigating up to pop-up themes and here what we can do is actually customize the themes based on your requirements in terms of colors, layouts, fonts and more and we'll show you this after we've created this pop-up. Then we can navigate over to size and under size you can come down and change the size of your form. I'm happy with medium. Next to that we have animation. I'm happy with the fade type animation. Just keep it really basic your form. Don't make it too fancy or it takes people away and distracts them from actually completing the form. Again, I'm happy with the animation speed. Then if we head over to sounds, you can add a sound to your form when it opens. We'll leave that as none. Then we have position. And again, I'm happy with the default settings. Below display, we have close. This is the close text, I'm happy with that. Then I want to have a close button delay of let's say two seconds. And then up here we have form submission. And then under form submissions come down and I'm gonna select close on form submissions and the delay is going to be three seconds. So once the form has been completed, after three seconds the pop-up will close. 
and then I'm happy with my information. So once you've completed all this information, simply navigate over to publish, or you can simply click save draft if you're not ready to publish your form. But for us, we're gonna select publish. And just like that, you've created and published your free pop-up form. Now to view your public form, simply head over to your website and view your form. What we're gonna do is open our website on a new tab. And just like that, guys, you can see that after five seconds of being on our homepage, our pop-up form has appeared. Now, if you're not too happy with the pop-up form theme colors and styles, what you can do is actually customize each of these themes. To do that, we just need to simply head back to our WordPress dashboard and then come down to pop-up maker again and then under pop-up maker you'll see pop-up themes if we click pop-up themes that's going to take you down to all the pop-up themes that you've tried on your pop-up now if you're happy with one of the pop-ups but you want to change the colors the format slightly then simply navigate over to the theme that you're currently using and click edit here what you do is slightly change the name of the theme that you're editing. So I'm going to edit Cutting Edge which is a standard theme that Pop-Up Maker offers and I'm just going to add Custom at the end. Then down here you have a few options. For example you can change the background opacity if you want. At the moment it's at 60%. I could make that higher if I like. So that is the background overlay. So what I might do is leave that as 70. You can also change the color of the background overlay if you like. We have container, which is just the padding and the border radius. So as you can see over here, you can see the border radius and the padding. I can change that here. I can change the background border and drop shadow. I can also edit the title if I like. With all these other formatting options, I can add text shadow. So as you can see, there are dozens of small changes that you can make on each of the pop-up themes. We have content over here, and then we have close. So as you can see, I've got the close button text up here. It's just an X. You can see that preview on the right hand side. And then we have the location that we can change if we like. So as you can see, it's very straightforward to make small customizations to the standard themes that the pop-up maker offers. Then when you're happy with your changes, simply come down and click update. Okay, so we've just showed you how to make small customizations to your themes. Now what we want to do is head back to our pop-ups and show you some other information regarding your pop-up analytics. If we navigate up to all pop-ups, that's going to take you down to all your pop-ups. As you can see, we have our opt-in form. It's currently enabled. We can choose to disable this pop-up if we like and enable it at any time. We can also go ahead and create a new pop-up and then over here next to the one pop-up that we have that is currently active, we have had two opens zero conversions and the conversion rate over here so you can see basic analytics of how your pop-up form is performing then if you want to find your contacts find your subscribers to your pop-up forms simply navigate over to subscribers this is where you can see all the subscribers to your pop-up form now this is just the free version so if i navigate over to upgrade you can actually go ahead and upgrade to a paid premium plan and this gives you a lot more in terms of what you can do with your pop-up forms the customizations the integrations as you can see down here you can integrate mailchimp which is a very powerful easy to use email marketing platform which will basically allow you to capture contact information and get them sent directly to your email list within mailchimp and as you can see, there are dozens and dozens of other premium features that you can use with the paid feature. However, for the mass majority that have a small business website that just wanna create a simple pop-up form, the pop-up maker is ideal for those individuals that wanna get started with pop-ups. And the free version of the pop-up maker is sufficient enough. However, that is essentially everything we wanted to cover in the pop-up maker using the free plan. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief tutorial showing you how to use the plugin Pop-Up Maker to create a free pop-up form for your WordPress website. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.